this is a, this is the second part of Anarchy, Humor, Hate, Volume 12. Pragmatism. The powers that be constantly employ a pragmatic approach, attempting to remedy the ills of our problematic nation. Our leaders seem to be discontent with unfettered idealism or startling realism. They fail to see the nose in front of their face. Do they ever consult you or I? Where do they obtain their so-called expert advice? It takes no genius or learned scholar to observe that their policies are ineffective at best and miserable oppressive failures at worst. If they were not so conceited, blinded by their elitism, maybe some progress could be made. I do not appreciate such invasions and infringements upon my personal liberty and happiness. Perhaps a slogan, if it ain't broke, don't fix it could so appropriately be applied to their idiotic attempts at creating a better world. Am I just a common fool or extremely insignificant in their view? But this fool will tell all who will heed that our ever-increasing mutating authoritarianism is hindering our advancement as civil people. And to evolve ourselves out of the Stone Age, we all need to assume individual initiative and defrock needless coercion and control. The solution begins with us all. We must reassert ourselves and reacquire our integrity, which is robbed from us. We must declare ourselves independent and sovereign entities. We are the purveyors of a utopian existence. We must exert our inner selves, rejecting barbaric creeds, flaunting our human decency, and serve as the bricklayers for the kingdom to come. Where anything is possible and nothing is inhibited, where imagination becomes reality and restraint is unheard of where each becomes a master and molder of his own destiny, where there are no limits, save self-imposed ones, where laws lie dormant in a foreign corner of our hearts, and we love and respect so dearly, that ordinance of any kind need not be enforced, where time stands still and authority dissolves itself, to a fairy tale reminiscent only in horrific dream, where sadness is completely overwhelmed by mirth, where those being born aren't forced, that legal mumble jumble commencing at their birth and ceasing upon their death, where anarchy is the only government we need, where brutality engaged and invoked by authority is a silent murmur of the past, where our hopes aren't crushed by oppressors, where authority is absent, where authority is dormant, where authority is gone. These those powers that be cannot see that government only generates a life full of suffering and strife. Authoritarianism is the antithesis, which rejects the past too late that people are good forever it crushes us and keeps us perpetually pondering what the world would resemble without its existence and yearning for what's inside our imagination give anarchism a try powers that be or else utopia is a thing we will not achieve barriers to happiness the deranged hoodlum rapping relentlessly upon a wooden door the terminal pulsating throb of a bloody wound exposed, both hemispheres independent, not coinciding nor coexisting, but pitted in everlasting opposition, much like a civil war between homogeneous peoples. No one is the victor. Each becomes so much more greatly defeated over the course of time. The objective is fruitless, the triumph counterproductive. The outcome inevitably gruesome and mournful, all impervious to rationale and decency. The fatal blow contacting the bruised and battered cranium of a wary, prized fighter, the blinding rays of an overbearing sun, penetrating the colorless flesh of an albino, an exaggerated extortion resonating in the ears of the gullible, the hypocritical, the hypocritical judgment of an almighty deity, the torturous removal of splinters from the motionless, wrinkled limbs of an aging arthritic, the admiration admir- administration of sickening, repulsive ailments into the enemas of the ill, the deadening, backbreaking toil of a dedicated but oppressed laborer, the agony and distraught of a well-intentioned but naive young fellow coldly, brutally, ruthlessly rejected by the most awesomely, eloquently, graciously beautiful woman on the face of the earth, the echoes of timber, during the fall of an aged oak, which required a lifetime to blossom and flourish, but only a split second to fall down, its significance in the universe. A false hope, a crushed dream, an uncut promise, a revealed secret. 
the descension into a bottomless pit without even the slightest capability, capability to undo. The realization that there's no turning back. A black ostracized in the Jim Crow South. The culminating moments of a perfect, flawless relationship. The crude crass insults originated by a scoundrel directed towards the way of being of a prude. A berated father's reaction to the tardiness of his disobedient daughter, the black eye which becomes the undesirable, intolerable blemish of the proud, the damnation of the ethically benevolent, the ungrateful strike to the hand which provides nourishment, the deadening sound between two quarrelsome, stubborn lovers, the, cap the capability to express emotions stolen by a skilled, cunning thief in the wee hours of the morning. A flamboyant personality reduced and watered down to a generic persona. Neglected summer, slumber, effecting an already overstressed, fatigued workaholic. The uncertainty over the whereabouts of a prized possession. Sorrowful cries in the eyes of the apathetic. The insistence to remain impervious to conscience and to, not, not, to nonetheless engage in activities despite ethical dilemmas and moral ramifications. Muffled moans and murky groans suppressed from the lungs of the injured and abused screaming for assistance. A father in this union of relatives and ancestors dominated by female influences in a patriarchy. The pathological lies inherent in the thought process is of an anorexic eloquence demeaned by profanity. The premature critique of an unfinished product, a train of thought veered off track, a blunder of folly, a mishap, comedy, humor, hilarity imposed in the presence of the stern, strict, serious, the envy of creative inventions expressed by moronic, destructive ingrates, the inability to discover the most fitting proper adjective to describe an all too eloquent emotion, an ingenious tidbit of prose perpetually forgotten, unremittingly obvious, shallow, superficial, observations substituting dreadfully deep uncommon remarkable inner insight the ridicule of blessed souls that scoff towards moral giants a crumbling bridge self-torment rugged individualism annihilated the heartless disapproval vented towards the dogged effort, efforts of an unrecognized and unacknowledged artist the violent mood swings the monotone recite of an accomplished rhetoric, the constant irritating ring of an obsolete telephone, the mindless slapstick reoccurring on a television set interpreted, interpreted by the intellectual, the problem without a solution, the unforgivable sin, the lifelong banishment, condemnation directed to those who are ever so worthy and deserving of praise, the depression with no need to ail, no medicine to cure, no drug to alleviate the suffering, the pain that is permanent. Satire unappreciated by the humorless. Emotional maturity undeveloped by childish imbeciles. The compelling alienating force that exists in, in society. The extraterrestrial experiencing culture shock on a foreign planet. Every conception destroying the wall in our hearts, the wall of happiness.